YouTube, what's good with you guys? Gonna back here with another video, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys what exactly you should be doing when you hop in Madden Ultimate Team for the first time. I try to do these videos every year, and they seem you guys seem to like them a lot, so I'm gonna continue to do so. I'm only level four right now in the Madden season, but there's a lot to do, even so far. Um, you know, maybe not as there would be normally, but for the first couple days before the game actually releases, which are releases for everybody that doesn't have the hundred dollar version tomorrow. Uh, there's still a decent amount to do, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I predict happening. Uh, so when you guys start getting the game, uh, for the majority of people most likely, that exactly what you should be doing, because Ultimate Team is the most popular mode in uh, all of Madden, so we'll go ahead and hop into that. So the first thing you guys should be doing when you hop into Madden Ultimate Team, besides looking at your actual lineup, go down to the first homepage on play. Damn, my camera's in the way everywhere I am. So <laughs> now move it over here. So up in the top left corner, you guys will see it says play, live events, my team, marketplace, etc. First page is going to be the play page. You're going to want to go over to challenges and do these challenges. Knock them right out of the way. Uh, there's going to be a couple ones right now. The preseason ones are gone. But as soon as the game comes out, they're going to release new ones for the new program coming out. Team Affinity, stuff like that. So go ahead and just knock out these headliner ones. There's only 120 stars that you can get. I knocked out all of these already. Go ahead and do them all in the maximum difficulty and maximum stars. They're super easy, even on the hardest star difficulties. I got them all done in like maybe an hour. They'll probably release more. So opening day challenges probably take like two, three hours. Not too big of a deal. Go ahead and knock those out of the way. They'll get your season level up a good amount and jump me up to level four. Ever since I've been at level four, it's been hard to level up, but that's exactly what I would do to start. Get all those solo challenges out of the way. You'll get cards along the way. Um, and then take all those cards and experience points and stuff that you get and do as you please with them. My recommendation is going over to <clears throat> the marketplace section of the menu, go into sets and just kind of take a look at the sets. Take a look and check out what sets you can do currently. Uh, you can go by completion percentage, um, fil filter it by completion percentage. Take a look at some sets that you can do right now. See if any of those are worth it in your opinion. Uh, right now, like the ones that I did were the Jalen Hurts one. Just get that one out of the way. Might as well. It's super easy to do. There's some overall different ones, some team builder fantasy packs, stuff like that. So if there's some different packs that look like they're going to help you out, I would say definitely go to take a look at the sites you can do and do those as well. It, it can only help you give you players, stuff like that. So I would keep that in mind. Then if we go over to the live event screen. Right here, that's where you can see all the objectives, all the different uh, reward paths and season paths and what you need to do to level them up. So definitely go and take a look at these. We'll start off with season one plus triangle when you're over the season one. It'll pop up that field pass for you. As you can see right here, it shows you the different levels and different level rewards, what you'll be getting at each level throughout the actual field pass. I'm level four right now, so my most recent uh, person I've got is this 83 DeAndre Swift. As I go up, I'll get a 70 plus overall player, nothing crazy, uh, pack, some coins, Bryce Young, more packs. So all these are for free, right? Just grinding the game, doing these things. If you press R1 when you're in this screen, it takes you over to the stats that you'll need. Score 700 touchdowns in any mode, 5,000 points, pass for 20,000 yards. These different ones will give you lots and lots of XP to help you along that reward path. So these are things to keep in mind as you're grinding these uh, season rewards and season challenges and stuff to make sure you level up and keep these in mind as you're doing solo challenges, playing online, etc., stuff like that. Then you even have the daily ones as well. So keeping these in mind, record 150 rushing yards in any mode along with record five sacks. These are your daily missions that are gonna give you a good amount and a good chunk of XP to help you level up <laughs> along that reward path as well. So those are good to do. Always do your dailies, always do. Uh, keep in mind what your stats are and what you should be doing to complete those challenges. When you go back to this screen now, you can switch it to ultimate preseason. Uh, this is gonna be only for uh, people who have the game early. So this won't matter for anyone who doesn't have the game early, but go ahead and do that out the way. Team captains, this should be here at all points of the year. That's why it doesn't have a day limit on it because uh, it should always be here. So as you guys can see, you wanna level up. You start getting these uh, players right here. It's different than last year, right? Normally you get a pack that shows you uh, that you get to pick your team captain for the year and who you want to go for going forward. But this year, as you level up, you will get all four of the team captains. And then eventually, as you continue to level that up, you'll get the team captain tokens and you can use it to level up only one guy or use them all and spread them out on the different guys on the team right now. Uh, but my my uh, personal one that I'll probably want to level up the most is probably this Eric Berry card. Eric Berry is one of my favorite Madden players of all time. One of my favorite players in real life of all time. The dude's an actual absolute beast. 
battled cancer, battled and got back on the field. That's insane. Really, really cool player, but besides that, I would say that's who I'm gonna go for. It doesn't matter though. Go ahead and grind through this reward path and get all these players is what I would say. So yet again, you can go through, through these objectives to see how you're gonna level up and get these guys. So win 10 solo battles or head-to-head -head games, record five fumbles, score field goals in any mode, get tackles with the team captain in your lineup. All these are super easy, simple, simple, simple stuff that you can do to level up this <coughs> reward path and get these players to put on your team and level up your team. And finally, the last one is the headliners reward path. So take a look at these ones as well. I'll just give you a quick idea of what's going on. Got the headliners packs, XP, more headliners packs, front page token, XP, more packs, coins, stuff like that. All these are good to keep in mind for what you're doing. Want to go ahead and do all of these, complete these as much as you possibly can. It'll only help you get better, only help your team, only help you with more coins and leveling up the season reward path. So that's what I would do. Pass for 4,000 yards with headliner player in your lineup. Simple stuff, complete 10 headliner sets. It might be a little bit harder. House rules, just do that. Pass for 15,000 yards solo battles as well so these are all important things to keep in mind and understand uh and keep in the back of your head while you're playing uh the game in general and then once you're done with that you can have cards in your lineups as you're doing the solo challenges you'll be getting cards go ahead and go into your lineup put those guys in your lineups uh the easiest quickest way that i would recommend is you guys can just press triangle when you're in this screen best team overall automatically get your guys in there for you because you might get a lot at once right maybe you get a couple players at once you want to open packs uh this main guide is for people who don't want to spend money i'm not going to talk about spending money because the easiest thing to do obviously is go and spend money and then have a great team but not everybody wants to do this so i'm trying to give an idea for those no money spent players even people who do spend money these are things you should be doing no matter regardless just to get stuff outside of the money that you spent so the last thing i would say after you've completed all that is to go into head to head or house rules Start playing online, using your team, uh, going through those reward passes. When the game does come out tomorrow, an actual competitive uh, game pass will be come through it. When the game comes out tomorrow, a competitive reward pass will come out. So you get to see all the different players you can get from playing online and leveling up and winning and doing stats online to get those better players. As you can see, I'm three and one on the season right now. Uh, that doesn't matter too much, but when it does come up, it'll show down here where it says field pass. Uh, right now it only shows you the season level field pass right now but it'll also show you the competitive pass once that releases so i would say playing regular season uh if you want to do mud champs that's for people who i would say are a little bit better at the game i'll probably have a game uh video on that later down the road but right now these are the things that i would say to do save up your coins try to get as much training as possible and then go on the market and you can go buy whatever guys you want i can't come out with a video about who you should be buying right now currently but in reality, just get the best team you possibly can by playing these solo challenges offline, using the coins on players you want to get right now. I did make a, a video on what I think the best theme team will be that you can see in my channel if you go to my channel. But overall, theme teams aren't huge right now, but it, it's still there. No one's going to be saying anything against you if you're trying to level up your theme team to start off the year already. It's never too soon, but it's not the priority currently, I would say. Just getting the best players you possibly can, playing online, playing those challenges, is really what you should be doing. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, comment down below what you guys wanna see, what you guys thought. Grinding out these videos for you guys, I'd love to do this for you guys, so I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Best one, I was the best one. You think you're way back, you should've kept up. You always question all of my methods. I try to hold you down. I just want you to go and hit. I swear that you don't check your phone. I'll be pulling in the coop on my own